Hey guys, um, so today is not a palette a day. <laughs> um, I wanted to do something really fun um, and show you what, what I recently purchased. This will probably be the last thing I get before my Nova in October. And uh, one night late, Shauna <laughs> sent me a message on Instagram and it was showing this bad boy. This is the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Collection. Um, and so this is sold on HSN. Yeah. You can see the box right there. Um, and it actually comes like a PR package. It's really cute. So you open it up and inside you have a teddy bear hair brush, um, which is super cute. Um, I love the teddy bear hair brushes. It has like stars on it. You've already seen me show this in the, maybe have seen me show this in the vlog. You get a pumpkin spice lip gloss, not to be confused with my favorite liquid lip right now, which is pumpkin spice from Too Faced in their holiday little kit. You get a full size better than sex mascara and also this is the star of the show, which would be the pumpkin spice palette. Inside you have 16 shadows. They did break them up into quads, which I think is really cute. Obviously you could go anywhere you wanted. Um, so it's nice because there's like a mixture of warm and cool, which um, when you hear pumpkin spice, you just think automatically orange, warm, fall, you know? And so I feel like this is very warm, uh, cool toned. This one's pretty cool toned. And then you have two warm tones. Um, there are some of the cutest names. You have like, oh my gourd, tons of different pumpkin names. Um, so you have fallen fudge, love and pumpkins, pretty as a pumpkin. You have tons of really fun names. Um, I really like this foiled one, golden pumpkin looks really, really cool. Um, I don't know. It looks like a different texture. It looks really, really neat. Um, so you guys know that who have been with me for a while that Too Faced used to be my absolute favorite brand. I just feel like they killed it every single time with formula, with packaging, presentation, like Too Faced has always been my favorite. And I think over maybe the last year, I've fallen almost out of love with them. I just feel like sometimes they fall victim. I don't know, not victim, but like they just try and do too many things that people are already trying to do. The reason why I fell in love with Too Faced is because there wasn't another brand out there that was like them. Um, you know, they're very romantic and feminine and that was like what I was all about. And then they started falling into like trendy crap like unicorns and mermaids and I don't know. I was just like, why, 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 why? Um, so nobody else except for Makeup Geek did like a pumpkin spice palette, but this is like traditional Too Faced. This is like Too Faced that I fell in love with. Like who can make a pumpkin spice more romantic and feminine than Too Faced? So um, I immediately went on and bought it the second Shauna sent me that post. So um, it, shipping wasn't very long, maybe like four or five days. Um, I mean, it's not Sephora, you know what I mean? But it was quicker than Ulta. I don't even remember how much this is. I don't even know, this is gonna sound crazy, but like I don't even know if I looked. <laughs> um, just because I knew that I had to have it. <laughs> you get all of this for, Oh my gosh, um, it's on sale right now for $49, um, which I'm pretty sure is what I paid for. It's saying $70, but um, I, I know I didn't pay $70 for sure. Um, and you get free shipping, so um, I mean, that's not bad considering a full size of Too Faced Better Than Sex is like, what, $23? So literally for $20 something dollars, you're getting a palette and a brush and a lip product. So pretty damn good deal. Um, so anyways, um, I've already done all my face makeup. We're going to go ahead and get into the eyeshadows after mm, five minutes of just talking. Uh, so I don't think, I can't imagine that I'm just going to stick to the quads cause that's just not my style. I like to be all over the place. Um, but if you have trouble um, you know what I mean? Figuring out which shades to use. I think it's very cool that they did this. So like in this quad, I would do like a transition and then, uh, you know what I mean? Crease shade and then an outer corner and then put like the gold all over your lid. So I'm going to go in with the color love you a latte, which looks like a buff color, but in certain, it also looks a little bit, I don't know. We'll see what color it is. Let's just see. Oh yeah. So that's just going to define your crease a little bit. I'm not gonna put that like all over. It's just gonna 
kind of um, do nothing on this eye. This eye always takes more pigment than this eye. Does that happen to anybody else? I know it does because I was just watching Shauna's Charlotte Tilbury um, Stars in Your Eyes palette get ready with me and she was like, why does this eye have more than this eye? And I was like, same. Um, so I'm gonna go into the color Love and Pumpkins, which is like a pink color on the same brush. Um, I didn't even tell you what that was. It's an M441. You guys know that that is like one of my favorite crease brushes um, for like laying down transition shades, not like a specifically uh, like crease colors. I use like a smaller brush, but transition shades like this one's really great because it's nice and fluffy, but it's firm. So it like stays down, uh, stays down. It lays down all of um, your transition shade. It doesn't take like a ton of work. Like you don't have to sit there forever. All right, um, I really like that. That's really pretty. Let's see. Um, I think I'm gonna go cool tone today just because I've been doing so many warm looks. So I'm gonna go into Oh My Gourd because it's not super warm. Like, pumpkin spice is definitely warm. Pretty as a pumpkin is definitely warm. Actually, the pumpkin spice color isn't that warm either. Um, so I'm gonna go into Oh My Gourd which I just love saying, <laughs> oh my gourd. I'm gonna start saying that instead of oh my god. I shouldn't be saying that anyway, but oh my gourd. <laughs> it's funny, I don't know why, it's cracking me up. And I'm using an M506, which is like a smaller fluffy brush, which I love using for my crease because it gives a more designated area. It lays it down in a more specific area, I should say. All right, um, now I want to go into, I think, this burgundy color, which is called Spiced Coffee, and I'm going to put that through the bottom. Ooh, look at the pigmentation on that. Holy moly. Wow, that is so freaking pretty. Holy cow. I was trying to use a maroon. What freaking palette was I using? And it literally just kept fading away. I was like, what in the hell? Was it the Makeup Geek palette? The Pumpkin Spice Makeup Geek palette? I feel like I like this one already better. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I've only used the Makeup Geek palette like twice. But the first time, remember, uh, it was the orange color, I know for sure, and it just kept fading away. Um, Jack-o-lantern. Every time I went to like blend out the edges, it was like gone. I was like, what the hell? Oh my gosh, I freaking love burgundy eyeshadows more than anything in the world. <laughs> they give me so much happiness. And this one is so freaking pretty. Look at how pigmented it is. Like it literally covers in just one little movement. I don't have to keep, I don't know. I just really like it. I think I'm gonna bring it all the way in and do like kind of a halo eye. So I'll bring like the matte and then do like a really pretty um, color on my center, which I'm pretty sure I already know which one I'm gonna use. As soon as I saw the color Blushing Pumpkins, it made me like giggle because it sounds like Smashing Pumpkins, which is probably one of my favorite bands, like circa 90s. <laughs> Their new stuff wasn't that great, but like Siamese Dream, one of my favorite albums of all time. Just saying. I think I need to go up a little bit higher. I wanna make it like more of a cat eye. I can't get over how pretty that pigmentation is. Like the actual color of it. Pigmentation probably is not the right word. Like just the pigment of it. Like the, just the color is like blowing my mind. It's so pretty. I'm probably gonna bring this with me to Vegas. I'm just gonna blend out the edges with Oh My Gourd. That is so pretty, oh my gosh. Okay, so Blushing Pumpkins is like this pink with a gold flash, like, oh. oh. Do you see that like gold reflect? Oh my, oh my gosh. Like, see this? This is why I originally fell in love with Too Faced. They used to have such great quality and, like, storytelling with their palettes. This is so stinking pretty. Oh, my gosh. 
if your finger is not on a mouse right now, clicking by if you're able to. You're crazy. <laughs> That's not very nice. I'm just trying to express how much I genuinely love this palette. That is seriously just so pretty. Oh my gosh. I can't. I can't. Do you guys see? Oh my gosh. Do you see how pretty that is? So I think I literally used a color from every single little quad. Oh my gosh. That's so freaking pretty. So now what to do on the lower lash line. I want to do something light and fun. So I think I'm going to put pretty as a pumpkin, even though it's like a warm tone and this is more cool. Um, who says you can't mix it? <laughs> Probably lots of people, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. And then I'm, um, they have a really pretty, um, light shimmer that I'm going to try and put on my inner corner. Did you, I literally barely even touched it. Oh my gosh. Watch one swipe. That is insane. I don't know why, I'm, I mean, I do know why. It's been such a long time since I've been blown away by anything <laughs> especially a two-faced you know what it is is that I've done I've been doing these palette of days and the last two that I've done I've absolutely hated my makeup that freaking Norvina palette I did go return at Ulta I got my money back um I hated how dark it was because I don't know there's days when I'm in the mood for dark looks which have been in a plethora lately. Mmm, that's cute. Look at that blurring mess. Um, but there's just days where I don't want the whole entire thing to be dark. And I just felt like even the freaking transition shades were like so dark. That is seriously so stinking pretty. I'm in love. I'm in love. Um, I don't want to ruin this with a wing, but I am going to put something on my lower lash line, like um, my waterline. I want something really dark that's gonna make it like pop. And I've already done navy blue, so I won't be doing that. Um, should I just do a black? I think I am. Number one, black makes my blue eyes pop. Um, I know a lot of people think it's way too harsh, but I like every once in a while. I mean, I do plenty of colorful uh, eyeliners. Man, I probably won't bring this with me to Vegas because I don't trust this floating around by itself you know what i mean it i don't know if it would be travel friendly what do you guys think do you think that this is too big to travel with i don't i'm i'm, I'm gonna take it i don't care <laughs> um i'm gonna set my face with my mac fix plus pink i'm almost done with it um and like i said i don't think i would repurchase it i don't notice a huge difference in it like i don't see beautiful pink shimmer all over my face or anything maybe i don't want to i don't know i just don't notice a difference Okay, um, I'm gonna throw on some mascara really quick, which I don't feel like is the most exciting thing. And then I'll come back and we'll do try the lip gloss together. <laughs> okay, lashes are on. So let's try this lip gloss. I did use the Better Than Sex because I don't wanna open it. Um, I already have one open. I know how Better Than Sex performs. It's not my favorite, it used to be. Um, Sorry, I used my Estee Lauder one, so I'll save that one for, you know what I mean, later when I need a new mascara. Um, so we are going in with the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Ultra Plush Lip Gloss. I don't know if that means it's a plumping lip gloss. I hope not. I'm not the biggest fan of plumping glosses, plumping anything, because it's typically painful. It. Oh, I smell the pumpkin now. Oh, it smells good. Oh, it smells good. Oh. Ooh. That 
that's so pretty oh my gosh it doesn't feel like a plumping gloss at all I don't feel tingling, tingling or anything I love it I seriously love it I love it so much <laughs> I haven't been this excited about and pleased with makeup I feel like in weeks um, there's been a few palettes that I have like definitely fallen back in love with and I'm like oh my gosh I'm so glad I did you know rediscovered you um, there's some that I remembered hating <laughs> um, and I'm glad that they're out of my collection and I'm they're not just taking up space just to have them um, because of whatever reason I'm so happy though with this collection I feel like this was totally worth $40. The fact that you get a brush, which their teddy bear hair brushes are expensive. For like a little um, kit, it's like, I think, over $50 for brushes. Um, I didn't use it because I completely and totally forgot. I will eventually because it's so stinking cute. I don't know if you guys saw like the little stars on it. It's super cute. Um, a full size freaking mascara, a full size lip product, which usually with Too Faced kits, you get minis. Every single Too Faced kit, I'm looking, I have two shelves on either side of me um, that have Too Faced Christmas kits, um, and they all come with a mini mascara and a mini lip product. And some of them have like mini shadow insurance. So the fact that they gave you two full size items and 16 eyeshadows for 40 something dollars girl go get it if you want it and you have the money and you're on the fence this is me pushing you over that fence go get this I highly recommend I just love it I love uh, the pigmentation was there with the shimmer and the mattes which usually in palettes it's one or the other um, it didn't it blended really well the pigmentation was there um, I just I can't recommend it enough I'm so excited I have I'm just reiterating and repeating everything I've already said I'm gonna stop go get it I love it highly recommend lip gloss is so pretty um, I do want to mention that it has little itty bitty gold glitters in it and it's not overly sticky and, has a really good smell you can smell it on your lips like right now I can smell it um, so if you are sensitive to smell then it may not be for you um, but it is so pretty I wonder if you I don't know if you can see like the gold glitter in it or not it is so stinking pretty go what go get it go get it go get it go get it and I love that I, I will probably keep this forever because I'm a freak about packaging. Like, I'll probably keep this stuff in here. <laughs> Which sounds silly, but I am going to, I think I am going to take the pumpkin spice palette with me to Vegas. Um, and I'm probably going to wear that liquid lipstick every day that I'm there. So we'll see about that. <laughs> so I thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new, hello and welcome. My name is Brittany Coco. You are watching the Coco channel. Please subscribe if you are not already. And I will catch you guys in my next one.